Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares can destroy, be there at our waking and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restores human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them. My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, fellow children of Israel and you others who are God fearing, <coughs> listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With up, uplifted arm, he led, he led them out. And for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. And at the end of about 450 years, after these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, the man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. That one hand may be always with him and that my arm may never be, never make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. 
My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior, forever. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. with you. Yes, A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus is teaching to his disciples about how the he is one with the Father, and he is, I am. And that those who he sends also carry him with them really is fulfilled in so many ways as we hear in the Acts of the Apostles as Paul and Silas and John and others go on their missionary journeys. And I don't know about you, but it just amazes me how far and how distant in a time before mass transportation, Paul managed to travel throughout the whole known world and around the Mediterranean and in Europe at that time to bring the word of God to others. He was truly sent and Jesus was present in him. But Paul has no different than we do for the gift of the spirit is given to us and Jesus abides in us as well. And just as he abides in the Father and the Father in him, so he has given the Spirit to us so that we might be his witnesses, that we may go and speak his word and give witness to his life, his resurrection, his love, his salvation for all. May we continue the message that was sent from the beginning and may it continue to reach new ears and new hearts. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> Rejoicing in the good news of our Savior, let us place our needs into God's hands. That vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and church ministry may flourish let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that the Lord may move all obstacles for every nation and people to proclaim his word. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that God may rectify injustice for all who work in harsh or degrading circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that the Holy Spirit may use us as a conduit of his forgiveness and reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord our that our beloved dead may soon receive a glorious welcome into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our uh, let us pray especially this day for Jin Lewis being remembered at this mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord our for whom else shall we pray?
for peace to come to the Ukraine and to our own country to stop the killings in our cities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father, with confidence in your abounding generosity and love, we bring these petitions to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Ginny, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore <laughs> us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless us Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing the second verse of our hymn, number 410. <coughs> Lord of all eagerness, Lord of all faith, whose strength hands were skilled at the plain and the lake, be there at our labors and give us, we pray, your strength in our hearts, Lord, at the noon of the day. Have a good day, all.